السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى. أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. جعلناه قرآنا أعجميا لقالوا لولا فصلت آيات أعجمي وعربي صدق الله العظيم. Respected elders, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. Last Friday, I was talking about Quran Kareem as a book. Kalamullah. And we get the words from Quran Kareem. And we get meanings from Hadith. And Sunnah al Nabawi. And I was saying that without Hadith, we cannot understand Quran Kareem. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whenever He decided to give any book, so He gave us in two forms. One is a book form, and the other one is Nabi. If we can say one is theoretical and the other one is practical, As I said, the Hadrat Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha, she said that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was moving Quran Kareem. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given Nabi to show us how to practice on Quran Kareem. How to show, how to act upon the ahkam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But let me tell you one thing. There is, you must have heard about missionary. Missionaries, they go everywhere, all over the world, especially in, in underdeveloped countries. What they do, they take Muslim children and they when they you know grow up they want to they want them to become Christian after 1857 in India the Christian Mubalirin they came to India and they used to catch Muslims, Hindus, Sikhs, whoever. And what they did that they called Muslim children. And they said that you should wear clothes like ours. It would look good on you. Okay, they thought probably there is a leverage somewhere in Islam. So they started wearing those clothes. Then they said that you should learn our language. Okay, they started learning their language. Then they went furthermore, they said that you should learn our culture, our way of life. Okay. If we have done this, we have put your dress on, we have learned your language. Okay, we will go. You know, when I talk about the culture and the way they live, that means that Muslim used to sit on the sufra and eat. They meant to see that sit on the table and chair and then eat with the knife and fork. 
that means once you are having with knife and fork that means you are eating with your left hand okay muslims children they adopted that too then the last attack was that they you should convert to our religion also many hindus and many sikhs they did become christians but their worry was that not a single muslim child has accepted this that to convert to christianity and they were so worried all the mubalighin they sat down and discussed this matter one old muballigh of them he said do you know what is the reason the reason is that this child is brought up by his mother and the first institution for this child is the lap of his mother when the mother puts him to sleep before that she gives transfers all the islamic thing all the spiritual thing in him and the talim and ilm you get the knowledge you get in your that age it is unalterable it can never be changed that is the reason that that was the time they just gave up tried their best what could they do how could they get success that old muballi said that now if you want to get some success out of it what you should do is you should make target those mothers in the name of women's liberation in the name of health and beauty or in the name of many other things family planning birth control or whatever they try to get this child away from mother i am not saying that the it's not necessary for mother to get the education it is islam never condemns that but islam says that the knowledge of islam should be on top of all the knowledges and all the ilm if you have knowledge about islam if you have any ilm that's when you can transfer it into your children but the result what what was the result result is that the all the mothers are out out of home if you see the level of their islamic education graph has gone down and now we can at this age we can see lot of muslims are converting to the other religions that is so sad when quran kareem was revealed and you know what language it was revealed in arabic of course there were two objections by kuffar they said one objection was allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you quran e kareem bit by bit today you get one portion tomorrow you get one portion day after tomorrow another portion how can unlike the other books you get in different sections why didn't you be given just once the whole book subhanallah in their objection there is answer allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said in quran e kareem that 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect Quran -e Kareem. It is not that he, Allah, we will put them in a case or something or in any box and protect it. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taken that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you assurance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect Quran -e Kareem. How? Bit by bit, saving it in our chest. Yes. And that is the reason that Quran -e Kareem, as it was revealed, nothing changed until now. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given protection. The other objection was they said to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that it is revealed in Arabic. All those books earlier which were revealed, they were revealed in Ibrani or other languages. Yunani, Suryani. How come Quran -e Karim is revealed in Arabic? Because you live in Arab. And they used to say, we are actually being your well-wisher. The reason is that if you get this book and tell them that this is Kalamullah, they will say that this is in Arabic. He himself wrote this at home. And he cannot write the whole book in one session. That's why he is bringing bit by bit in Arabic. And they said, we are being your well-wisher. This is the objection one can have. So you think about it. Sometimes, I tell you sometimes, objections and negative things, sometimes they become positive. And sometimes positive suggestion, they look positive, but there is somewhere negative behind it. When there was conflict between, I wouldn't say conflict, but there was some difference between Hazrat Ali ta'ala and Hazrat Amir Muawiyah In those time of differences, Qasr in Rome, he wrote a letter to Amir Muawiyah that I heard that there is a difference between you and Ali. Don't you worry about it. I am behind you. If you need any weapons, if you need any, you know, things for your war or anything, I am ready to supply. I am at your back. Put that time in today's time. Aren't we all Muslims? in this kind of sickness nowadays? As soon as we have differences among us, what happens? The non-Muslim powers, they get in. Oh, they said, oh, this, your Muslim country is fighting with you? You give us, we will, we will support you. Kaiser -e Rome said to Hadrat Amir Muawiyah, I am behind you, don't worry about it. If Ali says anything to you, just declare war. Amir Muawiyah, he wrote a letter and his words, Subhanallah, this is the Gherat Islam teaches us. He wrote a letter, O oh, Nasrani Kutte, O oh, Nasrani Dog. Let me tell you that there, if there is any difference between me and Ali, it, don't you think that you can ever interfere among us? And if you are ready to give me the help, we don't have any, any differences at all. And let me tell you, 
If you even think of attacking on Ali, I would be the first soldier coming out of Ali's battalion to kill you first. That's what Amir Muawiyah said. Sometimes good proposals, they have some bad intentions. So they said, it is in Arabic. When you say people might think it is your own kalam, when you are saying this is the kalam Allah, Quran Kareem says that whatever they are saying, if it would have been in Ajami or Arabi, they would still would have said the same thing. The reason Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed Quran Kareem in Arabic because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam language is Arabic. How can you expect someone who could not understand something and preach the same thing towards to the others? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Quran Kareem in Arabic to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so that he could understand it and he could deliver it. That was the reason. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that even if they if it would have been in Ajami language, they would have still said the same thing. Because this is what they want. They want to just object. Quran Kareem is revealed in Arabic. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given this book to us. And that is the reason you see that this is a marjaza. This is the ajaz of Quran Kareem. That until now, not even a single dot has been changed in Quran Kareem. And until now, people are listening to the ahkam of Quran Kareem. It is still working on people's heart. It is still working the same way as it was working in the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it can carry on. Those who want to change Quran Kareem. As I gave an example earlier, that there was, I give this example time to time. We change Sharia, we change Ahkam. They say, oh, these, those people who are talking about 1400 years ago, they want to make you orthodox, they want to make you just outdated. Let me tell you one thing. If you sit in an exam, in a drawing class, and teacher comes and gives you a paper, and he puts one flower vase in front of you, and now you have to draw that flower walls. Tell me, if you write about that flower walls, oh, it has got white color, it has got pink flowers on it, it has got two handles, would it give you any marks? No, you would fail it. Because he is not after that. He wants you to draw exactly the same as he has put the model in front of you. Okay. Some people, let's say, they draw. And they said, oh, if shape would have been like this, that it should have been up, it should have been more, down should have been less. And he changed the design. Thinking that this is better flower walls than that. Would he get any marks? No. He is supposed to copy exactly the same as the model. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu life has been given us as a model. The written form of his life is Quran Kareem. And practical life is Hadith. Yes. Once we get all these things, where can we make changes? Where is the difficulty? Just because looking at those things which are so attractive for us in this life, we cannot just 
first thing we change, oh, make changes in Quran, make changes in Hadith, make changes in Sharia. That is the reason that we have become so weak. We have lost our strength. We have lost our power. There you would have been still engineer of computer, you would still be the doctor, you would still be the accountant, you would still be the lawyer. But practice on Sharia at the same time would not make your life difficult. It will make your life easier as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has assured you. But the thing is that we just, we listen and even we believe, but we don't act upon it. That is the, this, that is the thing which is lacking. We have got quran Kareem, we have got Hadith, we have got practical life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in front of us. And quran Kareem has been given in such a language. Nobody can have that kind of language. And in quran Kareem, people have been given challenge to make even one ayat like quran Kareem. Nobody could do it. That means this is the ajaz of quran Kareem. May Allah give us tawfiq to act upon quran Kareem as much as possible and make the sunnah into our life. Allahumma arina al-haqqa haqqan warduqna tiba'ah wa arina al-batila batila warduqna tinaba Allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammadin salatan tunajjina biha min jami' al-ahwali wal-afar wa taqri lana biha jami' al-hajat wa tutahiruna biha min jami' al-sayyiat wa tarfa'una biha indaka ala al-darajat wa tubalighuna biha aqsa al-ghayat min jami' al-khayrat fi al-hayat wa ba'da al-mamad innaka ala kulli shayin qadir برحمتك يا الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين